Hey first grade, today we are going to continue our study of numbers to 40. We learned how to write and spell our numbers to 40 in the last lesson, but today we're going to build those numbers using tens and ones. So let's start with our place value chart. You will recognize this chart because we used it in the classroom to make numbers to 20. It starts with a cross and then you label it tens on the left and ones on the right. Then we used our math tools to build numbers. These are our tens. And when we count them, we count by tens. So we would count 10, 20, 30, 40. And these were our ones, our cubes are our ones. So we would count by ones when we count the cubes. And so we would count one, two, three, four, five. Now let's put it all together. We start with our place value chart, and then we place our tens in the tens column. Here I've placed three groups of 10. So we would count those as 10, 20, 30. Well, when we write it, we write it as three groups of 10 and I have placed five ones in the ones column and we write that as a five. So here we have made the number 35. So we can count that as 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Let's try another one. So here we're, we have two groups of 10 as 10, 20, and we write that with a two for two groups of 10. And we have three ones, so we would write that as a three. So here we've made the number 23. So 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. And let's try one more. Here we're looking at four groups of 10 and we write that as a four in the tens place. And this time I'm actually not gonna put any ones at all. So if you are looking at an empty ones place, there is a number that we have learned in first grade and that you actually learned in kindergarten. There's a number that represents nothing and that is the number zero. So here we're looking at the number 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. All right, now it's your turn. So let me show you how you're going to set it up before you get started. You're going to write the number one. Now, sometimes you guys number one, two, three, four, five right in a row, but I don't want you to do that because you're actually going to draw these numbers and you want to leave a little bit of space between each number so that it doesn't get all squished together. So you're going to write your number one, you're going to draw your cross. You're going to label your tens and you're going to label your ones. Now you're going to do a quick draw. And what that means is if I ask you to draw the number 25, instead of trying to draw three dimensional figures like our math tools are, you can draw a quick draw with rectangles to represent your tens and circles to represent your ones. So here you have 20 and you have 10, 20 here to represent your 20 in the number 25. And over here you have your five ones to represent your five in the number 25. So here you have done a quick draw of the number 25. All right, now it's your turn. Go grab your pencil and eraser and paper, your marker, your whiteboard, however you're gonna do this, go grab that. Do these one by one. Like I said, don't, don't write all your numbers out at one time because you wanna leave space between each one. Go ahead and do quick draws of all of these numbers. Pause this video. When you're done, come on back, press play, and check your work.
All right, welcome back first grade. How did you do? Take this time to look over, check your work, see how you did. Another way that you can practice this at home is you can use food, you can use, use snacks, so you can use pretzel rods for your tens, or you can use licorice, really anything kind of tall and thin. I've even seen raw spaghetti before you cook it when it's um, hard and stands up straight, then you can use that for your tens. And then you can use something small, kind of roundish for your one. So you could use M&Ms or Cheerios, or I've even seen goldfish used. So that's kind of a fun way to practice this. That's a little bit different than pencil and paper. And then the fun part is you get to eat it afterwards. So practice all of this this week, and hopefully you had fun doing this. I had fun teaching it to you. And have a great day, first grade.